This is a Flywoo Bluetooth Nano V3 Bluetooth module. Um, I just got these sent to me from uh, Australia Post. So I've got two of these for tuning and setting up my craft. Uh, I'm going to fit this one here. I'm going to fit this one here to the Zod Dart and then another one up here to the FX61 so everything can be done wirelessly through the laptop when I need to change any settings. Um, first I want to start with the Zod uh, because that one's a bit trickier. I have to undo a, a standoff to uh, get to my USB port which really bugs me. So I'm going to show you how it's done. I'm going to learn myself because I haven't done it before either so let's check it out. We'll have a look inside and see what we have. Alright so sorry if you hear any car noise because I've got my garage door open. It's a, I need a bit of extra light here. So I got these from Banggood. And it said it's a Flywoo Bluetooth Nano V3 version 3 Bluetooth module for FPV drone. Flywoo is the brand. These are very small and very light. But I think it's a good asset to have on your on your craft just so you don't have to connect it up to one of these every time at the field. What have we got here? Let's have a look. A little sticker. Flywoo sticker. Woo, let's fly. So a little cable. And the module itself, that's it there. The solder tabs actually look like they're quite decent size for the size of the module. You've got volt, ground, receive and transmit. So we'll go through the, the setup. I'm going to be learning myself here because I um, haven't done this before, how to set it up on iNav. I'd imagine Betaflight's very similar, but mine is going to be set up on iNav. I have iNav on both those two craft. Oh, we've even got a little heat shrink to cover it all in the end. Very good, very good. So yeah, we'll we'll tin up our we'll tin up our solder pads here and we'll connect the, the wiring side of things to that. And I want to look at putting a plug on the end for whichever UART port I'm going to be using, so... Okay, let's have a look, let's get into it. But I've got, I've got to get some new tips for my soldering iron. This is a, I bought this soldering iron off Banggood, actually. It's been pretty good. Relatively cheap. It goes up to 450 degrees. And it comes with all these tips here. I'll try that one I think. Yeah, it's been not a bad soldering iron at all for the price. I can't complain. Just like most stuff I get from Banggood I find it's pretty good. I'll even include a link to all these. I'll, I'll include a link to the Bluetooth module as well. Okay, better. Now it's not going to move anywhere. Turn this on. Get some heat into the iron. Heats up quick too, this iron. From, uh, from cold up to 400 degrees, just like that. It's got them all now. This is the flight controller I've got in the ZOH the Dart XL, it's a F722 wing. <clears throat> so the Bluetooth module here has to connect up to um, five, volt ground, five, volt, 5 volt power, ground, TX and RX. So I need to find an RX one or an RX and a TX. So over this side here I've got three options. RX2 at the bottom, RX1 and RX3. I believe I've used up two of them, so we'll have to have a bit of a bit of a look because they're the only options I've got here on this board by the look. Okay, so looking at my my board and the wiring layout that I've got here, I can use RX one and RX three. Um, they'll be the two up the top here. I'm going to look at doing. 
So the two pads, oh, the, the pad that I'm, I can use, I've got an option between using RX3 or RX1 here. RX3 or RX1, they're empty. Um, RX2, I think that's used for my GPS, I believe. I've used that bottom row there for my GPS ground 5 volt RX TX. So we might we might plug into we might plug into the RX3 I think just to give a bit of space. And what else it's telling me I've got to do here for the Bluetooth module I've got to enable MSP on on UART1. I'm guessing 576. I'm not sure there. And basically your RX goes to your TX and your TX goes to your RX. So basically think of it like, best way I, I heard was like a telephone. If you're making a telephone call, you are transmitting your voice to someone on the other end who is receiving your voice. Think of it like that. Transmit to receive. Receive to transmit. When they're talking back to you, they're transmitting off from the receiving end and you're receiving from the transmitting end. So think of it kind of like that. I'm, I'm, go, I'm not going to use the wiring that came with it, but I'm not going to throw it out either. Keep your wires, guys. One thing I learned in this hobby, don't throw out things. I mean, rubbish, yeah. Throw it out if it is, you know it's 100% rubbish, but anything like old wires um, or spare wires, don't just throw it out because it's not being used in that instant. Put it in a bag and keep, keep and build yourself up a bag full of wires, connectors, plugs, all that sort of stuff because it, it comes in handy. And these, so this is what I've found. This is what I'm going to use. I'm going to use this JST here for my power and my my ground and these two plugs here. They're already got. They're already on solid. Never been used these wires. Oh, my signal wires are receive and transmit. Maybe I could mount it there. Might do that. Weighs very, it's very light. This weighs 0.4 of a gram, I think it was. I've seen on the on the uh, spec sheet. I'll put a link up and you can have a look. So I think that's what we'll do. We're going to go from one of these plugs here. So I could. I could send it up this way if I really wanted to, but I think I might. I think I might just put it here on the side. So that's the wiring side of things all done. So our Bluetooth module here, ground 5 volt RX TX, and we're going over onto this row here. I'm going to do ground 5 volt RX3 RX TX3. Okay, so that's correct. Just double confirm that. Yep, that's good. So that will have to be my RX which is the white one here. So we'll stick this green one in next. And last but not least, the TX pin on the Maytech. Goodness, I just haven't really need little fingers. Let's try that. Sorry guys if you can't see, I probably can't because I'm having trouble seeing it myself. There, that's got it. We'll just confirm and double check. So, looking at that, we've got ground, 5 volt, RX is green, which should be TX on my module, which it is, and RX on the module to the TX on the flight controller. Awesome. All right, so we'll connect our USB and we'll set up our UART. 
So remember, I connected to UART3, my uh, receive wire, and my transmit wire have gone into my RX3. I had the choice of the two, RX3 and RX2. I choose RX3. So let's connect. We'll go into our ports tab. You aren't one, I'm not sure why that's on. But I'm in UART3, so MSP on here. So UART3 MSP has to be on, and we'll save and reboot and reboot. All right, so I've connected up a battery. Uh, my Bluetooth module's flashing, yes. So let's have a look here. We'll see if we can hop into this BLE. Let's connect and just see what happens here. Okay, iNav configurator wants to pair, so we'll click Bluetooth Nano and we'll pair it. And we're on, there we go. There we go, awesome. That's it. Connected, perfect. I believe too, this has about a seven meter range. Um, I did read somewhere, seven meter is the range on it. So it's not something you can, f you really want to be flying and modifying while flying. I don't think it's something that's just purely on the ground. It saves, it saves connecting up a, um, a cable. And that was my main issue with this craft. Plus it also, it's good for doing your um, calibrations and stuff like that too. So no cable to get in the way. So that's, yeah, that's cool. There you go guys, Bluetooth module. Nano, Flywoo Nano Bluetooth module. A simple, simple modification you can do if you've got a spare UART. You can use the Speedy B app and you can use your laptop at the field without any cables. Perfect. So next step I want to do, I'll, I'll heat shrink this and we will mount it and that'll be basically it. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it, you find it a bit informing and do something like this too. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Here we go, connect it up.